Another question that a lot of people are curious about is how much do doctors earn or at least when do they start earning? When do they stop paying? And when do they stop relying on their parents for financial support? When can they start being independent? So in this video, I will answer that. So this is what at least my seniors told me, okay? Because admittedly, I am still an intern as well and I'm not yet earning and you'll learn more about that. So just keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Aura Zarkon. By the way, what I'm gonna say here is like the setting for the Philippines. And it may be different for med students abroad, so take note of that. So obviously for college and pre-med, you are fully dependent on your parents. Or okay, and I always say parents because that's the most common, but if you're gonna have like an, another relative or a another sponsor for your studies, edi yun, sila yun. So obviously for college, no, you're not yet learning anything and for med school some people are asking me is it possible to do part-time med school and part-time working student or something like that and my answer is simply straightforward no because being a med student in itself is already a full-time job at least here in the Philippines you are required to attend classes attendance is always part of the grading criteria for some reason when you're required to be in school from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. or even later and after that you have to study at home or outside just to keep up with your lectures I don't think it's possible for you to be physically present at another job and spend your time and energy there if you're going to med school that's at least four years of nothing else okay although some of my classmates have found ways to earn money some of us got involved into stocks and investments and there are also some med students who have found a way to become entrepreneurs as well so that's good but I'm saying for the most part being a med student is a full-time job so no you can't do it part-time so okay you don't earn during med school until clerkship until graduation what about internship do interns earn money yes and no <laughs> Again, it depends on what hospital you go into. Some hospitals give you monthly allowance as an intern. Some just don't. It's part of the things you have to find out before applying to your hospital of choice. And how much do interns earn? It's just an allowance. Apart from the free food and sometimes call room for interns, some also get as much or as little as around 3,000 pesos per month, 3,500. I have yet to really see a co-intern earning at least 5,000. Haven't heard, but let me know. So yes, interns are still fully dependent on their parents. So after internship, you take the board exams. Now, after the boards, you become a licensed doctor. And that's when you can start earning. How? There are many ways. The most common of which are the easiest is to do moonlight jobs. What's a moonlight job? I don't know why it's called moonlight. If anyone knows, please enlighten everyone. Um, kapag moonlight, as a general physician, you go on duty at a certain hospital. Um, for example, this one. See, a doctor is needed overnight and the pay is like 3,500 or 4,000 at least per duty. So that's per 24 hours. That's the minimum you can earn more depending on the procedures you do, the number of patients you admit, etc. So if you're intent on earning some quick cash, you can do that already as a licensed doctor with moonlight jobs. But for how long will you be able to do this? Like for how long will you want to do this? As a moonlighter, you're a general physician. But if your original goal is to really specialize or study further, eventually you're gonna have to stop moonlighting and proceed to residency. Now, how much do residents earn? Yes, residents earn. You know, we say that we study until like 15 years, but the truth is we start earning the man. And again, it depends. Mostly if you go to a public hospital or a private hospital. For public hospitals, the bay is bigger. Um, I think I think I haven't seen an actual like pay slip, but I heard that it's around 40,000 at least per month versus residents in private institutions who earn, I know someone who earns 12,000 per month. That's a big difference, but it will require a whole 
video on its own to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of going into residency in a public and private hospital. So, maybe next time. So, yun lang. That's it. I hope that's enlightening. Real talk lang. Like, everyone thinks that doctors are so glamorous and rich and everything. We're not. I hope this solidifies what I've been telling before that don't go into medicine for the money because if you want to earn money especially at this young age and go you can earn money elsewhere just go into med school if you're really prepared if someone is gonna be there to support you if this is really what you want and of course this is where our personal struggles come from like what I said before we have like issues with independence and financial freedom whatever every day we come to terms with ourselves and with this reality once again, medicine is not about the money, but money is still important. And I'm happy if na enlighten kayo. And I'm sorry if wala na kayong excuse in the future to say na I didn't know that medicine will be this demanding. I didn't know that I had to sacrifice so much for medicine, especially my ability to earn. So I hope you found this helpful. And if you noticed, I always make videos about the questions you frequently ask. If you have other suggestions or questions, just ask them below and I'll try my best to answer. So yun lang. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And also, visit my blog at aurazircon.com. That's where I like to write. And you'll find more about me and med school and everything else that's not med related that I like it's all there thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos every week so i'll see you again next time bye bye